In this brief clip, I will talk about how to solve example 5 in the CFA reading on consumer demand. The information given is as follows. We have a consumer who likes to eat sorbet and gelato. The cost of sorbet is 1.25 and the cost of gelato is 1.00. For this particular consumer, at his current level of consumption of these two items, the marginal rate of substitution is 0 0.75. And we have two questions here. Is he maximizing his utility? And if not, then what does he need to do to maximize his utility? So let's do the first part. Is the consumer maximizing his utility? The the way to do this is first let's just draw this out and understand the data that is given to us marginal rate of substitution gelato to sorbet 0 0.75 now if you've listened to my lectures on the subject this means that gelato one gelato which is the number the item given first so so one unit of gelato yeah, are consumers willing to give up one unit of gelato for 0 0.75 sorbet and the way you can look at this is if you plot gelato and sorbet the way you should do this is the first item g this should go on the x-axis s sorbet should go on the y-axis and what this means is if we plot the indifference curve between gelato and sorbet 0.75 represents the slope of the curve so if this is 0.75 that means at his current level of consumption whatever that might be the slope over here is 0 0.75 so the slope of this line over here is 0 0.75 that's what this information tells us now if you recall from the lecture we know that our consumer is maximizing utility if the indifference curve on which he finds himself is tangent to the constraint line or the budget constraint for simplicity and you will see why this uh, makes the problem easier let's just assume that our budget our consumers budget is 10 euro if the budgets if the consumers budget is 10 euro what does the what does the budget constraint line look like the way you can think of this is uh, 10 euro means that if the if the consumer only buys sorbet so if he buys sorbet only and zero gelato what will uh, how many will he buy the answer is he will buy eight why because 10 divided by 1.25 is eight and if he buys gelato then he will buy 10 so he will buy if he buys sorbet he buys eight of those if he only buys gelato they will be 10 now in blue i am going to draw the budget constraint line so what is the slope of this given that the x the x axis intercept is 10 and the y axis intercept is 8 the slope of this line is going to be 0. 8. So notice that the slope of the line is more than the 0 0.75 slope over here. So the slope of the budget constraint line, I'll just draw it like this. So this is 10. This slope is 0 0.8. Since the slope of the budget constraint line is more then the slope of the tangent at the indifference curve that means that the consumer is not maximizing his utility so moving to part b now how does the consumer maximize his utility notice that if you take this point over here the slope of the budget line is more than the slope of the tangent so to get to an indifference curve 
that is tangent to this what must the consumer do i am going to go back into red so that i get into the budget uh, so that i get into the indifference curves so notice that to get tangent to this he needs to maybe come to this point over here so this new indifference curve which is higher and hence would make the consumer happier is above the original indifference curve and to get to that such that this indifference curve is tangent to the budget constraint he needs to move from say point a which was the original point to this point b notice that to go from a to b the consumption of uh, gelato needs to go down and the consumption of sorbet needs to go up so that is the answer to part b reduce the consumption of gelato increase the money spent on sorbet and with that same budget constraint the consumer will now be happier so that is it hopefully it made sense this is a good question so make sure you understand this if you are unclear about this explanation you need to go back and listen to my lectures again